know I don't want none of them other girls, man. You know, if I drop like 60, 70 buckets, these girls be trying to holler at the kid. They know I'm about to go all the way. You know, I just missed the draft this year, but you know, I'm going to be end of the draft next year. No, hold on. Oh. Man, this little boy better answer this phone, boy. He better answer it before I knock him upside. He said, better not be upstairs on the phone. The little thirst tell him. I love you, but you know I'm young, so I love a lot of girls, man. <laughs> bro, hold on. I'm going to call you right back. No, it's not a girl. It's not, bro. But just hold on, man. Hello, ma. Your man, come help you, mama, in the car. I need, I need you to help me get some stuff out of this car, son. Oh, every time you call me, why you can't just do it yourself? Uh-uh, excuse me. I'm coming, Mom. And hurry up, little boy, because it's hot out here. I ain't getting no younger, and this sun is frying me like I'm a little egg or something. Oh, we know. I be seeing them wrinkles. I say find a girl that's like your mom, and I hope I don't find no girl like mom. Come on, I'm boy, swear. it's hot out here. I'm ready to get out this car. What, Ma? Use your 90 year old brain to get out the car. I don't see no groceries. What you need help with, Mom? Just come open my door for me, please. Mom. Bro, I, Ma, I know no, I ain't what you you know I ain't what I've been working all day to make sure you got a roof over your nappy. Okay, okay, I open the door, Dan. You about to go carrying on me, bro? I open the door. I got a roof over here. I did it fine, bro. God. Dang, Jamel, you can at least open the door all the way. You know my arms are hurting from carrying on this body, yadi 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 on me, boy. Ma, now you know you ain't got no body, yadi yadi. Jamel, be quiet here. Hold this. Bye, bro. Oh. Just put, just put my bag in Guys, bro, you could at least have a door for me. I thought your arm hurt. How you was able to bust through here like that? What? Oh, that's me. Well, I'm glad I'm not in there. Yes, ma'am. Bro, I don't think she letting you come over this weekend, bro. She just tried to get me to wipe her behind, and I said no. Wipe her behind? Yeah, her behind. She just tried to get me to wipe it like she has some nursing home, like she's some old lady or something, bro. bro. Come on, bro. Just ask her. Bro, I'm not trying to ask. Bro, please. All right, bro. I'll ask her, bro. All right, leave. Oh, I'm trying to get me in trouble. Bro, I was trying to get me in trouble. I told her my mama going to say no. I just told her I wasn't wiping her behind, bro. Hey, Ma. But what? Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out if my friend can come. Can come where? Do your friend got a ride? Because once I'm in this bed, I'm not leaving. Yes! He has one here, but he needs one home. You don't listen, do you? I just said, once I'm in my bed, I'm not getting out. I don't care if the house on fire. I'm not getting out of my bed. Mama, he ain't got no mama. Can you just get him? He only stays right across the road. He ain't got no mama. What? See, now you, you just trying to get your friend over here making up. So how, how he get in the world then? Oh, you know. I don't even care. I'm not going to get him. He he can ride a bike or something. Oh, please. I'll do anything. Please. Oh, you'll do anything. Look. Buy my water for me. Mom, it's right there. Look down. You legally blind. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Come give it to me then. Mom, it's right. I know that, but that's the rules. You seen it first. And it's your friend like right across the street. What rules? I ain't never even heard of that before. The rules in my house that I just added to the list. Ma, what list? The top secret rules that if you don't do, I'm gonna beat you up behind with my top secret belt. Well, that sounds... Yeah? Okay. I wonder what this belt sounds like. Touche. On the other end, I think I can get that for you. I told you to hand it to me. Just for that, he ain't coming over here. But I... Ooh. Tell it to your Yes, friend. I think I've seen you before on Hot 
Boy 101. What you know about that? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Jamil. Jamil, come into this door real quick. You realize the door is literally three feet away from both of us, so I think you should go since you heard it first. Remember your rules? Well, I done told you about talking while I'm on the daggone phone, boy. And, and actually, I got two feet, you little smart behind. I got two, not three. You know what? I do remember the rules, but when you make the rules, you can change the rules. So go into that door. Bro, you're right there. You get it. And who you on the phone with anyway? I hope you ain't on the phone with nobody on that dang day. It's like, you must have told them folks you lazy, huh? Hold on. Let me call you right back. Boy, you, you let me get off the phone before you say something like that. Them folks can hear you. I'm trying to make us some money out here, man. Just go into the daggone door. Mom, did you just come for work? You need to stop being so lazy, man. No, it ain't my friend DeMarcus. I know that. Mom, ain't nobody out here? Now, I know I done heard somebody knocking at my door. And let me tell you something. If today, today, oh, today is Friday. If my package was supposed to come today. So if that was my package that I missed because you wanted to take so long to open the door where by somebody else, I'm gonna pack you up and I'm gonna ship you. Ma, my fault? Yes, Jamil, your fault. You know what, you're just lazy. You're lazy just like your daddy. Don't ever come with nobody that's lazy. This is exactly why I left him. I can't be with him, he's so lazy. But ain't you? Talking about my daddy. You the one who's lazy, that's why he like you. Y'all left each other, y'all was an equal agreement. Don't nobody wanna be with nobody who's lazy. You're right, cause you're lazy. I'm sick of you, bro. You got something to get off your chest, little boy? Nope. You're the best, not lazy, never asked your son to do anything, mother ever. Oh, well, son, that just warms mommy's heart so much. You make sure that when you get your girlfriend, she is just like your mama. I mean, just like me, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and close your door so you can have your little alone time or whatever. That boy ain't gonna never get him no girl acting like that. I hope my girl don't ever act like that. I'm gonna leave her butt in the woods. Matter of fact, I might just be single all my oh life. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. I am starving. I can eat a house, a cat, a dog, a cow, a bird, or whatever, bro. I can eat anything. Hmm, let's see. What do we have in... It is really nothing in this refrigerator, bro. You know what? I'll just, I'll just whip something together. That is what I will do. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm hungry. Ma, can you take me to McDonald's? I heard they got the new sweetie meal. Do you have McDonald's money? I mean, yeah, I do, actually. But only for me. But since you ain't got no money for me, I ain't got no gas for you. And plus, I don't feel like going anyway. I can't wait till I get my own car, man, because this is the type of stuff I've been talking about. I just want to go get something to eat, and you won't even take me. Wait till you get old. You better ask to ride in my car. I ain't taking you, my boy. How about that? Boy, hush your mouth. Come on and sit down. I am already fixed dinner, so I'm, I don't even know what you talking about. Just... I'm gonna enjoy it. Fine, bro. I eat the dang food, bro. Come on, leave. Now, mom. I know, son. You ain't even gotta say it. I already know. It looks better than McDonald's. I know. They might as well just go ahead and give me a deal, huh? But, uh, can you just pass me that fork right there? You know what? You think this look better than McDonald's, mom? You really gonna eat that? I'm not passing you no fork. And in no way you talking about the fork right there. It's right there. Mom, grab it. First of all, yes, I am talking about the fork that is sitting right there. You are very much ungrateful. I just sat here and slaved over this whole entire dinner for me and you. For us to have a mother and son dinner together. And now you over here just, just bashing my food. That's really how you feel. I go to work. I come home. I cook you. I got to put up with all your mess. I got to take you to basketball practice. Take you to football practice. I should do this. I should do that. You should just want to do it for me. And you sit here talking about my food. I, that hurts my feelings, son. Hurts your feelings? Man, it's going to hurt my stomach. It's about all oh, Jamel. I take you to football practice. I take you to basketball practice. Yeah, guess what, mama? I go to basketball practice and football practice with that in my stomach. They're going to keep me off the team because of my diet. It's horrible. And you know, all you talk about, oh, I do this for you, Jamel. I do that for you, Jamel. Why you go get my friend now, huh? Why you go get me? Stay right up my street. It's all about, oh, I'm not getting out the bed even if it was a fire. But you get out the bed and cook this. You need to throw this in the fire, mama. I can't believe you. You really going to sit here and talk to your own mother like that. The person that just said, Sat here and slave over this dinner for 30 whole minutes to make sure you had something to put in your stomach, to make sure you had food in your stomach, to make sure you were well taken care of. I put a roof over your head, I put clothes over your back, I put shoes on your crusty toes. You know, I just do so much for you and you just treat me like this. I don't understand how. I'm the one who brought you into this world. I carried you for nine months. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine months. I went through all that pain for you. 
you for you to come out ungrateful like this? Really? Well, I'll be. I never asked you to bring me in this world. In 30 minutes? You mean 30 seconds? I could have cooked this with my eyes closed and on top of that, you talking about you brought me in this world? You gonna take me out of here with that? Jamil, I just don't know what to do with you anymore. You are very, very disrespectful. Like, I brought you in here, you talking about what with this food. I can tell you, you know what? If I really wanted to take you out, I could have been did it. You know, I should have been did it the way you talking to me. Next time, you know what? Ask your daddy to make you some food. How about that? Ask your daddy, your lazy daddy. He just lazy. He don't want to take care of you, but I'm taking care of you. You, you know what? I'm done. I'm so done. I'm, I'm not doing this no more for you at all. No, this food is disrespectful. And since we're on that topic, I'm not asking either one of y'all to do nothing for me. Why? Because y'all both lazy. That's why y'all split up, because y'all both want each other to do stuff. But shoot, I be doing stuff for both of us, so I might as well think for you, huh? Oh, okay, so what am I thinking now? <sighs> Go get the belt. <laughs>